everyone, I'm back. And I'm back with another episode, Rock the Magnificent, Back in the Cafe, Coffee and Beats, Album Reviews, Coffee Recommendations. I got it all. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. But before you do that, do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. Hit the comment section and make a comment. Also, share this with your loved ones because I'm sure they would all love to hear this. I am so glad you're here today. I got a coffee recommendation for you. And this one is from Sila's and it's a cherry flavored K-Cup, cherry chocolate flavored K-Cup. Can't say that five times fast. I got that combined with my favorite candy of all time, which was made into a creamer. And there it is, M&M's. M&M's. It's the gold of all creamers in my opinion. Now that I got my coffee recommendations out of the way, it's time for some album reviews. Let's get right into it. Starting with our first album, we got Toro E. Moy with his new album, Mahal. Now, this is the seventh studio album from Toro E. Moy as he had recently just dropped two singles, two lead singles that had me super excited about a future Toro release and he started off with tracks like magazines which has that nice bouncy Beck the information like feel to it and then also he dropped Postman which has a nice bouncy beat with Toro making simple references in a conversation with the mailman of all things insert Mahal which features 13 tracks clocking in at around 40 minutes. Three years removed from his recent album Outer Peace, Toro separates himself from the auto-tune and heavy synths to a more colorful and frenetic tone for this particular record. The album kicks off with Medium, which presents us with a very intense instrumental with assistance from the band Unknown Mortal Orchestra. It, it kind of reminds me of an instrumental version of U2's Mysterious Ways, but with heavy drums and great guitar play. Then he transitions into the next song, Goes By So Far, and this has a very soft, hazy vibe to it. And then one major highlight to this album is the track Loop, which got that smooth guitar work going for itself. And then also it's over some nice, smooth drum kicks. And how could you resist that hook? It's so addictive. Stand in the loop. so catchy i even i played it once for my wife and she was singing it the whole trip back to the house the track mississippi presents us with nice subtle production with dope vocals from toro and also sophie warrior provides some of the smoothest vocals and had a nice contribution to the track clarity which also has a nice radio head type vibe to it deja vu is another highlight off the album which has a nice vintage 70s bluesy type feel to it this album overall is a solid effort from Chaz, even though there are some areas in the album where he's kind of bouncing all over the place a little bit say for example songs like days in love for play last year these tracks kind of keep the album from being great is this his best album or is this his best project to date i would have to say no but it is his most experimental album since what for when we find him tapping into that psych pop route overall i enjoyed this album however i'm not absolutely blown away by the b-side tracks of this project and usually when it comes to toro he usually you know gets rbis in that department i see myself coming back to a few tracks on here but it is an album that will have to grow on you overall i give this a 7.75 out of 10 toro never seems to disappoint with one project after another and again i like this album don't get me wrong i do have my nitpicks about the album but fairly enjoyed this project and you might like it more than me but if you do that's great if you feel the same way that's also great that's why i'm here to give you the real deal 
check out the recommended songs that I have in the description below. I will have songs that you can add to your playlist from this particular record. And if you like it overall, add the whole album to your playlist. I don't, I don't care. Up next, we got Darius, French producer Darius. And he dropped his second studio album, Oasis. And this is his second album in five years. Uh, he's a very talented producer. If you like the likes of uh, Daft Punk or Miguel Miggs. You'll really like this particular artist. This album was recommended to me by a listener of the show. Shout out to Lee from Eclectic Vibes. But this is a follow up to his atmospheric debut album, Utopia. And this new album that he has here supplies us with 14 tracks of mid tempo house music that is lovely to the ears tracks like equilibrium which features wayne snow has a nice daft punk feel to it also nothing to me features beautiful vocals from kaja bonet riding over a very hypnotic beat and then benny sings has a, a nice feature on the track rise now i heard this track prior to this album i actually thought it was a benny sings single but it turned out it was a darius single check out the track cherry which has a nice miguel mix flavor to it and other highlights includes faded can't let go and also the tracks where darius is riding solo without any feature artists he basically does well he hits the ball right out of the park with infectious production on tracks like sunday feels right and grand large Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed this album. Not too much bad to say about this one. A solid 8 out of 10 for me. This was definitely a nice piece of work from Darius. And hey, my advice to you is keep it coming. We love it here. Up next, I want to briefly comment or do some commentary on the new album by Salt, which is entitled Air. Now, Salt gives us another project where they don't announce a release date or nothing they just drop the album on you unlike the previous album nine this one is going to stay available this there's no oh it's only available for 99 days then we're taking it off no this is here to stay now although i like the direction that they went upon first listen I don't really see myself revisiting this album with an exception of a few tracks. I, I love the, that Salt continues to hit you with the unexpected, not necessarily knocking them for that. My excitement level cooled down for this album as a whole. And all in all, I think it's an enjoyable experience and it's still worth the listen, especially if you're a big fan of opera, orchestra, like orchestra, like music i really appreciate the direction that they went but overall i give this a 7 out of 10 i think you'll like it if you you know need something to just relax to calm your nerves after a rough day of work this album is perfect for you it's good music good background music to really chill to last but not least we got the fourth studio album by viral sensation cartoons and the name of this album is called homegrown now if you have an instagram account or if you have tiktok well you've probably seen all of his videos that went viral to the track on my way which featured several followers of his account providing their own lyrics whether it's vocally or cats freestyling to the instrumental cartoons flexes his instrumental muscles on a 14 track 30 minute album homegrown now overall i think this is a decent follow-up album to his viral success uh, good instrumentals in pockets and some decent guest features sprinkled in some good but some very underwhelming i was a little let down by this project some of the instrumentals here didn't quite give me that instant gratification so to speak uh, some of the instrumentals on here i was left with just gazing into space and really looking at nothing just yeah. all in all i give this one a six out of ten i enjoyed a handful of tracks on here but i didn't really walk away feeling blown away 
by the project you might feel different from me but it just didn't hit me like I thought it would I was really excited after hearing on my way and getting a full project from him and I've listened to some of his older stuff hey if you like it shout out to you and if you don't well thank me later and that will do it for another edition of coffee and beats again I'm your musical barista Rod the Magnificent and again appreciate all the support appreciate your patience for waiting for a whole month for me to drop an episode but i hope you like it when it comes to coffee and when it comes to music stay grounded for life i will see you on the next episode peace